I'm Florence Badley 3060, staying safe in quarantine. <laughs>
got my hairbrush. And yes, my hair's looking like a wet mop right now, but that'll all change. So we do 30 seconds at each heat. We, as I said, we haven't got a separate speed setting. It's just one speed. So we're going to test that and see how it goes. Um, probably going to smell a little bit like burning because it ain't been used in years. Um, and then what we do is fi one final dry uh, high heat or whatever heat is comfortable for me to use, usually high heat. Um, and we just see how long it takes then for my hair to fully get dry. And then we compare that to another hair dryer. Basically, I know it all down. So to start, let's go. I told you to be quite screamy. And yes, it does smell a bit like burning. So that's that. It's with the nozzle off. Okay. Could go for a minute, I will with each one. One minute. Okay. Oh, it's high heat and high speed. Okay. So it is a dual speed hairdryer. This is a bloody vacuum. There you go. I mean, it's not too much heat coming off that, really. I'm not not really uh, much to brag about, but it's still pretty good. So okay, so it's so it's a dual it's dual heat and dual speed all in one then, basically. I just brush my hair a bit. I mean, it's done a pretty good job. It's one of the most powerful. Small hair dryer, so it is a thousand watt. Um, yeah. I think we can see the fan in there. I'm going to try and get that filter off at some point. So, see that, see? Sounds quite powerful though. So just keep it going for 30 seconds at low heat. Actually, we'll do, 30, we'll do high heat. There we go. See, the lamp came on. Hang on, let me see if I can get that, if it'll do it again. It, that lamp is really strange, that does that. Because I'm plugging my electric blanket, it does that, or my laptop. Okay. You guys can actually see me do my hair. Yeah. I need a bloody haircut though, and there's nowhere to do it. I have to learn how to cut my own hair. And it's quite powerful, this hair dryer. I've got to be honest. It is. It does blow quite a lot, but. There you go, my hair's no, not fully dry yet. Keep going. We're just going to time how long it takes to get that fully dry. Let's put the, uh, let's put the uh, nozzle on. Put the nozzle on. That sounds louder. You see that? This is with the air concentrator nozzle on now. With that nozzle, the heat is quite uh, fierce coming out of that. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Ooh. What the hell? Wow, that that is a fierce hair dryer, that is. Okay. 
That took a total of three minutes and 30 seconds. So three and a half minutes just to get my hair fully dry from that point. So that's pretty good. Yes, I know there's a lot of people that probably think, what the hell will that start? But I used to always have my hair combed back like that. Um, wow. That is actually amazing. Um, yeah, for a, for a travel hairdryer, that's actually pretty good. Um, I haven't tried any travel hair dryers of this day and age. It'd be quite interested to do that. Um, so what you do when you finish with it is obviously unplug. You gotta leave it to cool down. And you twist it. So if you see here, I'll show you how you do it. Oh, it does get a bit stiff. Twist, lock. And then just do that. You'd normally store it obviously hooked up on something like that. I am going to try and get a hook where I do that. So yeah, that was a Black & Decker SW105 Stowaway 1000 portable hairdryer from the 1980s. We don't exactly know when, but like I said, uh, it's a vintage one. Uh, so that's just a quick video, guys. This is now video 799. So you guys know what video is coming next. It's the maiden wash of the Hotpoint 9530 Electronic 1000 Plus. Yes, we're calling it just the 9530 now, no longer 9530 ANW. Um, so you may have noticed, uh, so this uh, will be the last intro where you see the 9530W and then I'll edit that out. Uh, so we just have the 9530 on that. So it'll be interesting. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that and that little bit of a hairdryer. I will do some more hairdryer videos, a little bit there. But I'll put some hairspray in now. Um, I will do some more hairdryer videos, and uh, I've got loads more to film. Iron-wise, I've got a few as well, so I'll spread them out over the course of time. Uh, but right now, you can just focus on washing machine videos. I'll do some more of the COVID-19 ones. Uh, there is news about the lockdown possibly getting lifted in three weeks, but we don't know yet. As I said, I don't believe it until it's officially like said, yeah, this will be it. So just all we can do is hope. Might even throw one out of the dryer again, uh, but I'm looking to sell that and then get a white knight one instead. Um, and then our next project is the washer dryer in the shed to do. That's our next thing. And also get the A3060 up and running too. So thank you very much for watching guys and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow and stay safe.